Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't, go ahead and subscribe because I know you've watched another video by now. So I wanted to talk to you guys today about three expenses that I experienced as a new real estate investor that I was not expecting um, that I, I had already started counting my coins towards my pocket and I should have accounted for these expenses. So number one, the first expense I encountered was um, homeowner's insurance. I already had homeowner's insurance on the home. If you watch my other videos, I did house hacking. And so I lived in my home for at least a year um, before I moved to the next property. So I already had homeowner's insurance. So when I would call to set up homeowner's insurance at my new property that I'm going to live in, the problem is I've got homeowner's uh, insurance on another property and it needs to be switched over to landlord insurance. I was like, cool, switch it over. Not a problem. So the, the typical price for landlord insurance is about 25% more than your average homeowner's insurance. And if you get like a lesser insurance, if your tenant at any point cancels their renter insurance or uh, removes you from their policy, you're removing coverage for yourself. And so you want to make sure that you're always protected. So I just maintained the same coverage just under the landlord insurance. And now I've got an insurance that I was not accounting for. That's 25% more. Um, the second expense was, of course, I wanted to hire a realtor to rent out my properties for me. And I didn't realize that meant giving up the deposit. So typically, if you use a realtor to rent out um, your unit. One, if you're going to use one, get a good one. Get one that's interested in making sure you have a great tenant. If somebody just wants to list it, just to list it and just kind of talk to them about your goals and see what their plan is to make sure that you get a great tenant. They should be talking to you about the background check process, um, how deeply they'll vet the tenant and to make sure that they're going to be the ones calling to check in on their references, their employment. I did my first rental property. My cousin is a realtor and she found my tenant. That same tenant is still there five years later. It was 100% worth it for me to give up that deposit because I have not needed to use that deposit. And it's been several years, so totally beneficial for me. Um, and then number three, my third expense that I wasn't expecting is that as I continued to move along, I realized I didn't want to continue to manage my properties. Now, I am still managing them right now, um, but as I, I recently started looking at property management companies, and I don't think by any means I was expecting um, some of the costs. Now, so account for a real property manager, and I will say... In my opinion, the ones that have told me that who they have is pretty great, it's a realtor who does property management. The one person that did report having a good experience has a couple of condos um, in North Dallas, and they said they're using a realtor to manage those properties for them, and they're getting information immediately whenever a tenant has a complaint, a request, or whatever, and they're able to account for those fees that way. So I just wanted to just to recap those three expenses I was not expecting. Um, once I became a real estate investor, um, the landlord homeowner insurance, which is completely different than your regular home ownership um, insurance, is 25% more. I was not expecting the property management uh, fee, um, not to be as high as it is for the quality of service that you're going to get. I'm comfortable with the fee if it works. So if you can find a realtor who does property management. Right. Oh, number three, planning for a realtor to list and find your tenant is going to cost you your first month's deposit. All right. So if you have any questions about anything I went over, please leave a note in the comments. Um, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. You're going to watch another one. I know it. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon.